Okay, so then creating the deep raglan sleeve. I use in three or four centimeters above four. This is four, right? Okay. So you just yeah. so this touches that line here. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Make sure you slash very well. Don't be scared. So if you don't slash well, it will be it will overlap. You must slash to almost the end. Yeah, it's not enough, otherwise it will overlap and it will shorten the measurement around the outer edge. That's it. I think I'm, there's one here. Yeah. You see that it will lay properly. Okay. No, you cannot move it. Make sure they spin this part. Pin it down there. You didn't pin it though. Okay, then you start moving it. At least the first one is pinned down. Then you spread till this touches your line. They can go in down, they can go below it. It doesn't matter, they can over, even overlap. Yeah, that's it. So just pin them, spread them, and yeah, that's it. Pin them as you're spreading before you now tip it. So you do the front the same way, like that. So this represents the gosset, just like you would have in kimono. Because now we're going to join to the either to the elbow level with whatever length you're doing or to the wrists or even before the elbow line. This means you've added this, like a triangle-like effect to your raglan, which automatically forms your gusset, just like you have in kimono. Okay, so make sure you, you, you tape it, because you need to move your pattern up. You need to connect this point, this point, your new use, to either the elbow level or wherever, whatever sleeve length you desire. So this is your basic block for your deep raglan. Okay, so she has connected from the U to the wrists and from the U to the elbow and she's connecting to somewhere above the elbow level. You need to understand what this means. The longer the connection, the more width you're adding to your side seam and the more ease you have. That means you won't have any problem raising your hand whenever you're making a low raglan design. So basically this is like the gossets that you would have in kimono.